can't remember the first time I heard about the ancient dawn. Much like today, the races of Na lived in perpetual strife, nearly bringing about their own extinction. They cried out for salvation, begging the gods to save them. The trinity of the gods answered by giving them the dawn. Powerful conspirators stole the dawn using dark magic and attempted to destroy it. They couldn't, but they did succeed in shattering it into countless pieces cast all over the world. Slowly but surely, the dawn faded from people's minds, and the horrors of war and other evil forces quickly spread throughout the land. Mortals went back to their old ways, destroying what should be treasured, and darkness slowly took hold. Battle lines were drawn. Each race took turns slaughtering the other, while the tales of the harmonizing dawn became whispered myths from the dusty past. Only rare individuals versed in old scripts like the Dwarven Chronicles knew if someone were to find the forgotten knowledge of the dawn and realign it, its power would be restored. This miserable world needs heroes, special people, pure of spirit, who'd seek out the fragments and reassemble the dawn. Harmony must be restored to Nar to save it from total destruction. Let you accompany me any further. 
You've come too far as it is, and I could never forgive myself if harm should befall you on my account. I understand youth and the eagerness to prove oneself, but someday, hopefully, you will thank me. By the time you received this letter, we would have reached Corden's Fall, a village in the far north on the shores of River Arno. The what? So, this is the famous Corden's Fall, the small village with the big reputation. Everyone wants a chance at the wealth to be had from their mines. Huh. Money can't make this autumn gloom go away. I need to get out of here before the first snow. What are you staring at, sailor? If you have something to say, spit it out. Maybe if I break the ice, I'll get a message from my father. I can see from your emblem you're one of Sir Herkin's soldiers. I'm well connected, and Herkin's reputation is stellar. His men are well known for helping others. It might interest you to learn about the difficulties we have with food. This cold, hostile region is not easy to live in, especially when we lack sufficient quantities of food. Our supplies are so thin, and our people are too. We need everything we can get. That damn Kvarlin is trying to get rid of us independent merchants so he can control all the trade in this area. He extorts the farmers, and it's become nearly impossible to purchase food from them. We keep finding means to purchase their- Hello, soldier. What can I do for you? Ah, finally a chance to meet one of the soldiers visiting our village. Your buddies have already moved on, right? I too was a member of the Royal Guards a long time ago, so I'm always happy to see other enlisted patriots. Hmm, although you've just arrived and I don't really know you, I sense your good heart. I'd ask you to do something for me. 
It, you probably saw the situation in the village. Kavarilin is ruining my business. He forbids me to let traders sleep in the inn and even to sell them food. As gods bear me witness, I count on every coin these days. Nobody around here understands it. That creature must have something on Marquis Cordelitz. Just recently, Tamaka and I talked it over. I can't tell you much about it because my knowledge is limited. For some reason, the Marquis panders to Kavarolin. He didn't cave in and allow Kavarolin to run independent traders out of the village. 